Good afternoon, everyone. I'm back. Woo! Probably you're going, I didn't even know you were gone. Um, my name is Elizabeth. My channel name is Shy Town Girl, and welcome. I have been kind of like MIA for the past week. For those of you that follow my channel, it has been just crazy. I had a fall. I had another grandson. It's been absolutely crazy. So I am so happy to be back in front of all of you. I have literally not been asleep since the day before yesterday. I'm on this crazy migraine high. Um, I'm so tired. My eyes are so heavy and I want to go to sleep so bad. And I just lay down and my mind is just like on a loop racing round and round and round. I'm so behind and I feel so bad because I am not only letting down people that have sent me birthday gifts, people that have sent me just cards in general, letters. Um, I have, oh my gosh, reviews to do. So please stick around, hang with me, and we'll get through this together once again. All right, Dollar Tree Hall. Now I am in the upstairs room, which is hotter than, whew, I have a fan going, I have windows going because we have um, the thingies put in for the central air, but nothing is hooked up yet because this has been a slow process with everything that went on with COVID, wood, plywood, it's just crazy. And I said, I'm not paying prices like that for wood and stuff. So this is just on the down low for a little bit, but I'll get a pretty background going just as soon as I can. I did get all of my... <laughs> Easter stuff down. It's hard to believe next week is 4th of July and I just took down my Easter stuff. But let's get into this Dollar Tree haul. Okay, lots of fun finds. All right. This is basically just some wall decor. And I want to say, I was going to say hibiscus, but I don't know if I'm right or not. Is that what these flowers are called? I'm probably so wrong. It's not even funny. But anyways, they're made but with felt. They do have some glitter that goes around them, and they're pretty decent in size, actually. If I do a measurement, they're about 13 inches, about 13, 14 inches all the way around. So something really pretty to hang on your wall or something like that. I also found one in this beautiful teal color, and there's that, and then here's the, it's kind of bent there a little bit, but there it is and then I think these will be a little bit easier to hold I'm not sure what type of flower this is I'm not really good with that I know some of my flowers this one right here which I think is really pretty they're a little bit kind of bent up a little bit because they were in my bag and oh I hate when they shove stuff in the bags and they just bend it all up it just whoo, but what are you gonna do right and then they had this one here and they're all about 14 inches so I thought they were really pretty. They all, even this design has some glitter around it. New bags, besides the ones under my eyes. OMG. All right, these are by Juncture, which is the, um, it's Dollar General. Dollar General. Oi. It's Dollar Tree brand. Juncture owns Dollar Tree uh, and vice versa. Never mind. Uh, blooper too again. All right. So there was this design. Now, if you watch my channel, I'm always mentioning how lots of times when I'm shopping, I find things that match. I showed some file folders with this exact same pattern. I'm not that it's a big deal, but I'm just saying there's lots of things that match in the store. So I got this one and here is what your sides look like. These are the nice bags. They have a nice handle to them. Again, they're by Juncture. I found that design. And then for those of you that like this, look at that. Your side panels are done all in the black, which I love that they did that. They broke up the pattern. So your design is on the front and the back, and then you have black handles. It is so warm here today in the Hudson Valley. This one here is adorable as well. I just, I don't know, it just pops. And I think it's the pink and the yellow just bounce off of, you know, the grays and the blacks. But I thought that was kind of cool. You got the yellow handle on the side panels. It is strictly yellow, which I think really makes the bag pop because it matches the handles. Like, 
I have so many bags. Ugh. Honest to goodness, they're all over the place. And when I need them, they're never where I need them to be. Okay, so I'm going to be disappearing again um, in about two weeks. I'll be in Rhode Island. And uh, one of the places that I visit in Rhode Island is a place where there's a park right on the water and a lot of people fly kites. And I thought, you know what, just for fun, I saw this um, unicorny one. <laughs> I mean, it's not, you know, all, it's just a little kitty kite thing. I mean, it's only 23 inches by 21 and a half. Um, I probably only get a little, yeah, like a little bit of spool. But I thought, you know what, just for fun, I'm gonna see if I can fly it. And if I end up doing, getting it to fly, um, I will put it on video and show all of you. But if there's kites flying, I will video them because these kites, they're not what I have. They're these massive kites and they just do all kinds of loop-de-loos up in the air and it's really, really cool. These I thought were just fun. And basically it's a little mini sun which you could use for decoration if you wanted to, but really what it is in my opinion, because it's hollow, is I would pop a little hole in here, fill it up with some candies, and why couldn't this be a pinata? Because I think that's exactly what basically a pinata is. I remember one year I did a pinata for my daughter for her birthday, OMG. I think I bought like 20 pounds of candy because I bought a couple bags thinking, okay, yeah, that'll fill it up. I swear that thing went on and on forever, but everybody had a blast. I think I have pictures of that actually. Anyways, going back to the sun, which is really cool. The design is only on one side, not the other. It does have this like, it almost feels actually what it is. It's a zip tie. That's exactly what it is. They have a zip tie put through there to use as a hanger and the actual measurement itself is seven inches. So seven inches all the way around. I actually um, got two of them. They have these little plastic bags. So I just took it out of the bag, but that's how they have them in the stores. They were hanging on an end cap. And I thought, you know, those are kind of cute, right? Also some new signs. Well, I shouldn't say signs, more like wall decor is probably more appropriate. This one here, they are all eight inches, they're square. You have a hollow back here, which you can always put something in the wall and then just hang it on the wall or whatever works. Cause you got a nice wide bottom here. You can always just stand it up. Mom's Kitchen, hot and fresh. Faith and family, friends and food. I thought that was so sweet. I, you know, I don't know. Maybe it's the Italian in me, the big spoon and the big fork, or maybe it's I'm watching too much I Love Raymond. I think a little of both. But anyways, that was the first thing I thought of when I saw this in the store. I'm like, I love Raymond. And I kind of said it out loud and I was like, oh yeah, I probably shouldn't have said it like that. But yeah, that's one of my, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't want to say downfalls, but I love that program. And I know it's from way back, but I enjoy it. It's it's good fun. I enjoy, I enjoy, oi, okay, I need a sip of tea. Maybe the heat's getting to me. If I fall over, somebody, you know, um, come rescue me because I'm here all by myself. Okay, I need a sip of tea. Oh my goodness. I have fried green tomatoes on in the background. I've probably watched this movie 15 times and I absolutely love it. Okay, moving on. I have one more wall decor, same size as the other one that I just showed you. And it says, I love this, sorting out life one load at a time. And it's like, right? You are, you know, you're, for me, I've always been, when it pours, it hails. For others, when it rains, it pours. Me, once I get under that black cloud, I'm like pig pen. I can't get out from underneath it. It just takes me down. Um, and I'm hurting so much from the fall I had last week. It's like, oi. But this, I thought, you know what? It's like, you know, you have to take one day at a time. That's all we can do, right? That's all we can do. All right, some more wall decor, but this is a little bit cooler in my opinion. These are fun. Now, 
these are gonna be like a pressed board, okay? Nothing fancy smancy, it's just that pressed board that you know if you get it wet, it's gonna break apart and just disappear on you. These come with little ropes that you can hang them with. I wanna give you a measurement on this one. 12 inches, bada bing, bada boom. And there you have it. Isn't that adorable? And now that's 12 inches, not including the cord that you would hang it from, but isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, I think that is so adorable. I actually have a friend that lives in Arizona who's been sending me photographs because the cactuses that he has in his yard are amazing. And all the beautiful flowers that come off cactuses, it's amazing. It really is. Then I found this one and they're all the same size. And we have that right there, which is adorable. I just kind of have the string cover in it just a little bit. I'll bring it in a little bit closer. Super, super pretty. And then we have a llama for those of us that are into llamas. And there's the llama. And it's funny because it's, uh, wow, this is like fresh stuff because manufactured March of 2021, right on the back there. So it's like fresh stuff. So we have a llama. And then we had, actually, there was like three kind of plant ones. And I, you know, so I showed you this one and then I showed you this one. And then the other kind of plant one, which I thought was really cute. And I think it's my favorite is this one because it has a little smiley face right there. So there's that one. I think that's adorable. And you know, you can take this string out. You could put a little nail through here. You could put a little hook on the back, very lightweight. Now this one, I got two. So is it a donut? Is it a unicorny? Oh my gosh, you guys never know with me, right? It's a unicorny, let me fix her up. I just pulled the string out because of course I got two of them. So what I did was I took the string out to show you that there is a hole in there that you can just put a nail or a tack if you wanted to, or you can just leave the rope in there like it looks right there. I just pulled mine out. But look at the unicorny. I just love this. It's like unicorny, unicorny. I don't know, I'm a nut for unicorns. You guys know that, but isn't it adorable? So yep, I had to have two. I love my unicorns, they're my pals. Um, if they had nomies, I would have grabbed them too. I did get myself today though, a set of nuts. Um, I finally, finally found them, the Hampton Farms. I've been looking all over for these. Um, I get them every year. My squirrels, my chipmunks, um, all kinds of critters I have around here. You know, they've been getting Oreos the past couple of days. They love me. My little friends outside love me. But I was like, man, I need some nuts. There they are. I was like, finally. These are the 10 ounce size bags. They are salted, so you wanna be careful if you're gonna be eating these on your own. These are made in the USA. For those of you that are wondering, they are manufactured and a product of the United States of America. For me, that's important. Um, and I wanna mention that to those of you that says, you know, for if it's important for you as well. Because a lot of you will text me or message me and say, where was that product from? So when it's not made in America, I'm gonna let you know when it's made in America, I'm gonna really let you know, okay? So these are awesome. Um, they're very good, very, very good. I don't need any more paper in my house, but for some reason, when I see pads of paper, I go cuckoo, I go cuckoo. These are a um, hundred sheets. They are four by six and five different colors. I just thought the colors were awesome perfect pad to put by the phone um, for whatever. You have orange and blue. And then this really pretty red. Is it red? It's like an orangey red. And then a lime green and a bright yellow. I just thought they were nice bright colors. Like if I have to leave a note for grandpa or something, he'd be able to see this much better than like regular white paper. 
Um, this was kind of cool. I almost wish I was graduating. Um, 1984. Ooh, that was a long time ago. Alrighty. Graduation cap decorating kit. Because if they had this when I was graduating, man, I would have been all over this. B one of a kind. What? It's got a unicorn on it and a rainbow. It's got all these awesome colors. So what you do is you just attach it and then the tassel goes right through there and you attach it so it ends up looking like that i was like oh my gosh i wish i knew somebody um at this you know that would be able to pull this off but i don't have anyone graduating this year in my family uh in a couple years i do so i don't know maybe at I'm not sure if she's a unicorn lover. I'll have to give her a call and check it out. But I thought that was like, oh my gosh, that would have been so me in the 80s. Um, paper food trays. Paper food trays, the little red baskets with the tissue, the white and red checkered tissue. I was born in the 60s. So of course that stuff to me is nostalgic now because you don't really see it anymore. And the Dollar Tree has really good plastic wear and they have really good little plastic bins. But this I thought was kind of fun because it's so simple to just throw in the car. It comes with 16 pieces. You get eight different plates. Well, you get the whole shebang. Basically what you're gonna get are all these different sizes and you know what? You just throw it away when you're done. Here it is. How easy for packing or camping. You get 16 pieces in total. When you're done with it, bye, see ya. Why lug around, you know, styrofoam that's not really so eco-friendly in my opinion. Yes, it can be recyclable, but this I thought was perfect. And I did take one of these apart. You just move the slats and then just tuck it in like any type of a box. They're great. I mean, they're not chintzy. I was really pleased with them. Another find I came across was some more of the Scents Spa Vent Clips. I showed a couple different scents. This one is Hot Stone. I sit to myself and I wonder sometimes, first of all, you know, they say two pack lasts up to 90 days. Do we have somebody sitting there sniffing the outlet? And when you can't smell it anymore, they go, okay, 90 days. What if it was 83 days or 87 days? I'm just messing with you all. Um, but I don't know what hot stone smells like. I mean, I've been in hot stone rooms. So I don't know. Sometimes I just wonder like, you know, what's the deal with the name? I love some of the names they have for makeup and lipsticks and stuff like that. But some of these other names they come up with, it's like, I want to know who comes up with the names, people messing with you okay so i did go down the crafting section i wasn't all that impressed in the crafting section um but i did come across these which i had been looking for they were on my wish list so i was pleased when i found them now these measure six inches by four and a half i'm hoping i think you're going to be able to oh yeah you can see it do you see the color changes here there's your pink, yellow, blue, and then purple. It is a, like, I wanna say iridescent, because you obviously could see right through it. Like if I was to put Rizzo in there, you would see Rizzo in there. But it's a double compartment, they are separated. Yes, I got two, because I have all kinds of unicorn cups and cups that all of you have given me and family has given me and I have all my pens in them. But if you're a pen collector or something like that, get a couple of these, just line them across a table or a desk, put your pens in them, put your mascaras in them, your lipsticks, your eyeliners, they really are pretty. The camera I know is not doing these justice at all, but they really are nice. They're a thick plastic, they're not a chintzy plastic. Okay. Also, um, oh, I did have another one. I thought I did. The other spa bent clip I came across was calming light. What does calming light smell like? They have a scratch and sniff. I get a little bit leery about scratches and sniffs sometimes because I don't know. Sometimes you never know what you're going to smell. 
I mean, actually, I can't bitch. It smells pretty good. All right, so now I have to smell the other one. I'll scratch with a different finger, though. Yeah. Okay, that one is like real musky. I, I'm not a fan of musk. <clears throat> not my thing. This smells much nicer, so I think I'll give the musk one to Grandpa. Speaking of Grandpa, today is Grandpa's birthday. He is 81 years old today. I went and snuck over to his house earlier. I put some balloons on his door. I went and got him an apple cake and I went and got him a really nice card, the apple cake, some balloons, and I put them all um, in front of the door by his house. And um, I haven't heard from him yet, but I know he's probably about getting home now. So I'm anxious to hear from grandpa. Um, to see what he thinks about what I left for him. Okay, um, sorry about that, but I just thought I'd let you guys know since a lot of you do so many nice things for Grandpa, and it is so greatly appreciated. And he just cannot believe that some of you have sent him cards and don't really know him, but yet you kind of do know him because of me. All right, down the crafting section, this was the first time I had seen these, and it's a two count set of water brush. What's really cool about these is I used to do a lot of watercolor painting when I was younger. They had the books where you would dip your brush in water and then you would paint on it and then it, the colors would come out. Well, boing, here we are 40 years later. They have a pen that you fill with water, put the twist cap back on, and then it's the same thing. So you avoid the cup of water, which I always ended up spilling all over anyways. And it was always, <clears throat> I can remember my mom. Put paper down because you know you're going to spill it all over. No, no, no. I, I know. Sure is, is enough. Okay. Gel pens. These I haven't seen at Dollar Tree before, at least out by me. Um, extreme smooth gel pens. It says quick dry gel ink, medium point. You get four of them. I got two packages because I found... Um, lots of colors. Like, look at this set right here. To me, that just screams total fall. You've got orange, yellow, brown, and green. I've never tried these ones before, but I do like gel pens. So I'm really curious to see how they're going to write. And then this one has like a lime green, a blue, a purple, and a pink. I did notice though, like, here's the green one. Here's the ink. Here's the blue. Here's the purple. So... You know, I mean, again, we're shopping at the Dollar Tree. And um, I noticed that a few of you are already starting to see your Dollar Trees have sections with the ranges from one to three and then three to five dollars. Some of you are happy, some of you are not. I don't know. Um, I haven't seen one yet in person. I've seen them in video, so I'm not sure how I feel. In my opinion, I think moving items into the Dollar Tree, just my opinion, more than a dollar is gonna screw it all up. But that's just me. Um, it's like saying, why don't you put a Dollar Tree next to a five below? Same thing, you know? So, to each his own. I thought this was so funny and so cute. So, and so broken. <laughs> okay, alrighty. Only this only stuff I'm telling you see this stuff only happens to me, but thank goodness. I have a second one I can't believe that one's broken Everything is supposed to be attached Oi If this one's broke too, I'm really gonna get pissy Okay, so this is what it is supposed to look like you have these I call them Mardi Gras beads, you know show your boobs and get some beads um, well, you don't always have to show your boobs, but it helps. <laughs> Anyways, you've got these green beads and then look at this little margarita cup. And on the front it says Margaritaville. And then you have this little flower. Is this a lotus flower? Is that what I'm trying to think of? Maybe I'm saying it wrong. See the little flower? I mean, even if you decided to take off the beads like that one is and use this on a three tier tray, say you're having a party and put this on your three-tiered tray, two-tiered tray, why not? Or wear it around your neck like it's meant to be and then just, you know, 
you got your cup right there you ain't got to worry about a thing and if you got a cup like this i'm telling you perfect for hydrating but oh my gosh i mean literally i can hold it in one hand but this is a two-hand cup this is freaking huge it's got one of those rubber straws that's bendable and flexible it's got two holes on the top a little thing here to flip it up this is huge does it say how Whew. ah Ooh. uptown funk you up uptown funk you up sorry but that is funky oh my gosh nine and a half inches right yeah okay um but yes indeed it's nine and a half inches so you have your straw the straw goes in the hole obviously but there's also an extra little hole here so if you don't want bees flying in your straws like me and sucking them down your throat and getting stung that eliminates that so i'm telling you water i mean sometimes when you have big cups like this and and you've got kids with you or whatever it may be or even adults with you i don't want to hold my cup you know what you wanted it you hold it that's just the way it is <laughs> anyways this one says party like it 1776 the design is on the front and on the back and then the other design that i found let me remove this here because i have enough on me as it is and i'm like oof sweet land of liberty and then look at the cowboy boots i thought those were so cute look at them in the red white and blue this is adorable and you know why not if you don't want to use this for a cup because it's two-sided you could use it for a vase you could use it for something to put flowers in well i just said that a vase but you could do anything with it it doesn't have to just be a cup because it's so darn big it would make a great decoration on a table for fourth of july why not put one of these on the table and put a bunch of flags in there or you know what better yet the light sticks the glow sticks that you get at dollar tree take this lid off forget all about it stick a bunch of glow sticks in there and have them all fanned out and the kids can all grab glow sticks that would be cool that's what i would do with those cups all right moving on i did find these and i really like the biscotti um those cookies that taste like this <laughs> i'm sorry my brain is too hot and overloaded anyways i had been looking for these and i'm hoping that these are going to taste like the cookies i'm not sure but anyways it says biscolata on the go and where are these made it's a product of turkey but they're distributed out of georgia so these are basically wheat milk hazelnut and eggs but now they're like in these little portable to-go cups so that's kind of cool these are 2.11 ounces and they come do you see on there the little face and the little package and the little envelope so they do have the little face because they have moods so you're gonna get a cookie and it's gonna have a mood all righty let's see where we are time wise okay just a couple more minutes um oh yeah la cucaracha la cucaracha they had maracas i was like oh yeah i gotta get me these you guys know me and my toys so it's a set of two maracas and that is what the top of the packaging looks like so you get two of them that's what they look like let's get a measurement they are eight inches they only had this particular color i didn't see any other colors at least out in my stores They like gone and I want to go home. I work all day and I play all night. They like gone and I want to go home. I know. Okay. The end. <laughs> I'm really tired. I'm so tired. It's not even funny. Oh my goodness i hope you enjoyed that um hopefully if you're brand new to my channel you're not looking at me and going that broad is so whack it's not even from um but i'm just trying to have fun i am in a room that is so warm 
it's unreal i barely have anything on as it is and i'm just like dying up here and with all my cuts and bruises that i got going on from here down i'm feeling it so i'm gonna wait till it cools off a little bit i'm gonna head myself down to the lower level because i am in the mood for some hamburgers on the grill and that is exactly what i'm gonna do until next time everybody thank you so much for watching and i'm going to be playing catch up so i am going to probably blow up my channel with videos until next time everyone bye for now